Hi, I thought I'd do a tutorial today uh, about the uh, the type of music that um, I've been recording, uh, writing and recording for many, many years now. Um, you probably have heard it by uh, uh, lots of different names. Um, some people call it New Age music. Some people call it uh, relaxation music. I like to sort of think of it more along the lines of everyday music. And it's a type of music you can just have playing softly in the background every day. Um, of a night to help you sleep, of a day just to, to fill that emptiness that might be um, in the environment, like where you are, your home. It's a, it's a type of music that just um, it just floats in um, and it's it's just there. You you know it's there, um, and it just creates a peaceful um, setting, a peaceful environment, um, and that's that's what I'd like to talk about today. So um, if you play piano, if you play keyboard, if you play um, a flute, an oboe, a solo instrument, um, you you can be creating this music, um, and it's it's fantastic if you're an instrumentalist like flute or oboe or something. You can take it outside. You can go into your garden and sit there and enjoy the music. If you've got a keyboard, um, portable keyboard. Get outside with it. Um, listen to the birds. Um, sit out there and play and do all sorts of things. So um, today we're just talking about um, creating something that's um, that's that's easy. Um, I'm just going to be working in the C scale today. So uh, literally from C up to C. Um, I've just got a, a simple piano sound set here um, with some strings, a string pad orchestra underneath. So the piano's quite loud, and then the strings are just sort of sustaining. You hear that just sort of sustaining underneath. Um, on this keyboard uh, here, um, I've got a, what's called a double reed instrument. So that's that's um, an oboe that have the double the double reed. Um, so yeah, from the C scale, um, the first thing to start thinking about is the type of chords, the chords harmony, because the chord harmony structure of this type of music is is quite important. So we're doing things from from C scale. So we have basic chords like like a C chord. We have a G chord, G, B, D, and F chord, F, A, C. And from there what we're doing is we're just simply adding and filling out and adding colour to those chords. And it's just like um, when you're probably learning art or painting when you're at school. We start off with primary colours and that's like this sort of music Music is. You start out with the, with the primary chords and then we're adding sevenths, major sevenths, ninths, sixths. Things like that to, to enhance and fill out the, the chord. So just a C chord, for instance. And if we were to add a seventh, which is adding the B flat to there. And then we add the major seventh, so it's just the, the, the B natural. And then pop in a D, and we've got a ninth added in. Um, C sixth is just adding the A into the chord. Um, and it just, just fills out that, that tone, it just gives it that, that ambience to it. Um, and uh, it's just about playing around the chords and the chord, uh, chord progression then. And what chord goes to what goes to what. And uh, that's where the fun is. So if you sit down with a pencil, write down some of the chords, C, E, G, G, B, D, F, A, C. And then work on some of the other chords like the A minor, A, C, E, D minor, D, F, A. Um, and then start adding the sixths, sevenths, major sevenths, ninths, uh, things like that. Um, into the chords and just have them all written down in front of you just on a piece of paper up on the music stand um, and then from there you can then sort of play around and play the C chord then maybe change to uh, an E minor chord from there maybe to a D minor back to an E minor um, to an F to an E minor so it the possibilities are literally endless, as you probably know with music. Um, the variations on the chords alone are endless. So um, that's the chords you can practice. So get that happening. Spend a bit of time on the chords. Um, work out a bit of a chord pattern. 4-4 four, four is the best time signature to use, common time. It's the best one to use. Um, and the melody. The melody is simply based on the chordal notes. Um, unless you want something that's going to sound um, really off key, <laughs> stick to the stick to just the chordal notes. Um, so C chord, for instance, C E G. The melody could be simply C E G. Um, again, write it down and then start to add little run notes, little fill-in notes, passing notes in between. So and then to F, for instance, you just change to an F chord. And then maybe back to an E minor. 
and then a bit of a jump, and then a fall, back to F chord. The possibilities are endless. I'm just making this up as I go, this melody. It's, you, once you get to a point, you can sit down and just improvise and just, just create, and that's what I love doing. Um, nothing here today is sequenced, nothing at all except my ocean sounds that I've recorded just down at the beach down the road here. Um, and that's the only thing that I use, and it's the same on all my albums. Um, nothing is sequenced. I prefer to just um, have the music composed and then perform it live on a recording. Um, and I think that's the most inspirational type of uh, music that you can get because it, it just shows the type of um, emotion and feeling and what, what, what you're expressing at that point in time. So um, let's try and put some things together. So we've got the chords, C to an E minor for instance, to an F. Simple melody, I'll just improvise that as I go. Um, if you've got a keyboard, you could use, as I said, the oboe sort of sound, or flute, pan flute, um, any instrument, any instrument um, works really well. Uh, probably things to avoid is something like a bright and brassy trumpet. It's probably something that's not overly relaxing, but -bum -bum. it's not, a, it's not probably one of the instruments that would fall into that category. Um, maybe a muted trumpet, if you had a mute, if you're a real trumpet player, put a mute in, um, that would sound really good. Um, so here we go, I'll kick off the... Uh, the waves and the ocean sounds, and um, we'll just simply play some chords over the top. So, C. Okay, and then we'll just improvise a bit of a melody over the top. So as you can see, the uh, possibilities are endless. Just simply by just playing around some chords um, and just um, enjoying what you're doing. That's the main thing. Just really enjoy what you're doing. Um, experiment. Um, if you've got an iPhone, an iPad or something like that, put it off to one side and hit the record button. Uh, my ocean's still playing. <laughs> um, and just have it record what you're doing. Um, and uh, play it back. Save the recording. Save the recording. You can put it through your hi-fi system at home, some big speakers, and um, just have it playing around the house during the day. Music you've created. Just simply using a C scale and the primary chords with a simple melody playing over the top. So um, it's something that um, you, can, you can do, you can do. Anyway, I'd love to hear how you go. I'd love to have a listen to some of your recordings. Um, my website, my music website is paulkenny.com. And um, my uh, life website, um, which is called Mastering Your Universe. And of course, the website is masteringyouruniverse.com. Um, shoot me some of your recordings um, via email. And uh, I'd love to have a listen. Love to have a listen and see what you're achieving. See what you're achieving out of life. And um, certainly what you're achieving out of your music. Um, so if you've got any questions or any music questions, just shoot me an email. Jump on my Facebook page as well. Um, shoot me a private message if you've got any music questions or anything about harmony or song structure, composing, anything like that. I'd love to help you. I'd love to uh, give you a bit of a hand and um, be a bit of a, a shining light if you're stuck with something in music. Um, so uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. And uh, may the rest of your life be the best of your life. Catch you later.